All right, new year, new you, right? Well, look, we have turned the calendar on a, on a new year. It's 2021. Uh, there's a lot of people that, you know, every year is their year, right? Last year, we leave it in the dust. This is your year. But it's always been fascinating to me because we all know what happens, right? Uh, many of us come in with great aspirations. January 1, here's how everything is going to be better from how we are, like, personally, professionally, our health, our family, our finances, all these different things. Man, I'm going to start all these new habits, all these new behaviors. I was, you know, let's say dog in the prior year, but this year is my year. But we've all seen this before, right? We know what the gym looks like at the start of the year in January 1. And then we know what the, the same gym looks like in, let's say, February and March. It, what happens, right? It's like, why do people fall off? It's not that their ambition fell off. I mean, they wanted to get in shape. They still want to get in shape. They still want financial freedom. They still want their business to grow, all these different things. But I think the reality of it is, is that sometimes we approach a new year like a fresh start. And there's nothing wrong with that. But all that really happened was the day changed. You went from December 31st to January 1st. But if you finish the year with really poor momentum and really poor habits, what changes in one day, right? Like, have you really recommitted yourself? I think there can be sometimes this pseudo illusion that now, you know, now that it is a new day, I recommit myself. But why wait for a new year for that? I mean, you could start that at any point. Um, so what I'll tell you is that at the end of the day, it's, you know, the goals and your goals never work unless you do. We all know this. Um, but, what, you know, to take it a level deeper, why is it that people, let's say, give up on their goals or abandon their goals? And what I found is that it really comes down to you being sold on your own future. So you, you know, the only way you can really truly commit to something, to actually do the things that you have to do when you're motivated, not motivated, the habits that you want to instill, um, the you know, things you want to start doing, things you want to stop doing, is only if you were so sold on what that future is that you would be willing to stick with the hard things that you know sometimes may go up, may go down, motivated, not motivated, but if it's not something that is you're so entirely sold on that you don't have clarity over that it's just you know you haven't mapped out exactly why that is important to you and what you're willing to do and what you're willing to give up to achieve it then chances are when those uncomfortable moments strike you won't stick with it because you know that future may sound nice but you weren't a hundred percent sold on it maybe it was incrementally better but life may be pretty good or not terrible so Maybe we're going to, you know, not fully commit to those goals. And as the saying goes, it's all about habits, right? It's like, show me your habits. I'll, I'll show you your future. And, you know, we are all committed to our existing set of habits. Sometimes habits are good. Like, you know, it's like going to the gym at a certain time, you know, eating in a certain way, uh, going to bed at, on time, waking up at a specific time, getting enough rest at night, uh, all those different things that can be really good positive habits. But then there's also negative ones that, you know, we can also be very committed to. Um, which could be, you know, going to bed late, not getting enough sleep, eating poorly, you know, uh, putting you know, all sorts of garbage in our bodies, not following through with our commitments, all these different things. And those are habits, too. So I would say that you know, what it really comes down to is the consistency and really aiming to establish that consistency day in and day out. You know, like what's the best way to eat an elephant? It's one bite at a time. And rather than saying, here's 10 things I'm going to transform in my life in all avenues. What about just one? And then building on that habit after you've established it with another one. Sometimes it's not about adding something new. Maybe it's to stop doing something, to take something away. So I'll tell you that none of this stuff works if you are not 100% sold on the future that you know, gaining that habit, gaining that capability will create for you. So it's really important that you are sold on it so you can be fully committed to it. Because that's where the, you know, when you look at the, the freaks on this earth, the ones that seem like they are possessed, okay? And you're like, how does that person like work all those late hours? How do they work, you know, during the week, weekends? Um, how do they just keep going? How do they keep all that energy? All these different things. Those are the people that have the greatest amount of clarity. They have established clear purpose, a why. They're so sold on their future that they are willing to endure anything to get there. So if they say, hey, I am so committed to getting in shape so that I can spend time with my kids and my grandkids that, you know, that's so, that's something they're so sold on that on the days that they wake up and they're supposed to go for a run 
and it's freezing outside and it's storming, a reasonable, rational human being would say, I'm going to sleep in. But the one who's sold on that future gets, the, gets on their running shoes, maybe gets a rain jacket, maybe, maybe not, and gets after it anyway. So that's all I'll tell you that if you will really want to achieve those goals, instead look at them as setting in as habits and you will only commit to the things that you were truly sold on.